Hey guys, I'm Kyle and today's video I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Authenticator app full tutorial. So let's get started. So here we are in our Microsoft Authenticator. And the first thing that we will be doing in this video is that we are going to use the Authenticator itself because it's the main feature of Microsoft and it's very important that you know how to do this. So in here, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the plus button on the top right of our screen. And then from here, we can add a personal Microsoft account or a work or school Microsoft account right here. And basically, this would add a security to those accounts. So this is the purpose of the authenticator. So you'd have a two factor authentication. But in this tutorial, we'll just be using the others right here. So it will be Google, Facebook, or other platforms. So we're going to tap on that. And don't worry, uh, when even if you pick the personal account right here. These are your options. So it's very simple. It's go for work. You can sign in or sign uh, scan QR code right here. So it's just the difference here is that when you tap on other, you have the scan QR code or you could enter the code manually right here, which is the difference. So from here, in order for us to add an account, uh, we'll just be using Binance for this right here so here in the authenticator app verification we will be enabling this so that we will be able to use our microsoft authenticator and in here we have our 16 digit key or this is our secret key that we would need to input into our microsoft authenticator in order for us to add it in to our microsoft authenticator so we'll be adding our binance account there and we also have the scan qr code if you would like to use the qr code method in adding your binance account to your authenticator and now let's go into Microsoft Authenticator right here and basically give it a name. So let's say uh, Binance Tutorial. Binance 2FA Tutorial. And then we're going to paste the secret key here that we have just copied and click on or tap on finish. And then we now have it here at the bottom. As you can see, Binance 2FA Tutorial. We're just going to copy the six digit code. We're going to go back into our app and then tap on next. And then from here, just paste the code that we have uh, copied from the Microsoft Authenticator. So this will be our first six digit code and tap on submit. And then just like that, we have now added Binance into our Microsoft Authenticator. We now have uh, the Authenticator now on our Binance account right here. So it's basically just like that. It's very easy to use. And now you can always use this code right here, the six digit code in logging in into my Binance account. So that is basically on how you can do that. You can also use this on your Facebook, your Google and other platforms that you may need an authenticator on. All right. So now that you know how to use the authenticator, the next thing is we're going to go into the password section. So Microsoft Authenticator can also basically be your password manager. You can import your important details right here, like your passwords. So uh, from here, you can go for add a password if you would want to add it manually. So you can input the website right here on which this password belongs. And then the username or the email, you can just type it out right here. So let's just add one, for example. So let's say gmail.com right here, tap on done, and then the password right here. So just for an example, and the website, let's say google.com and tap on save. And then there you have it right here. And remember, you can always import your password right here. So you can tap into the plus button and then you can add manually right here, or you could just simply import it if you already have existing password files from password managers and so on. And then you also have the password generator right here so if you need a strong password this is where you can get it from microsoft authenticator you can copy the password and then you can use it in your accounts and now the next thing is the addresses so this is basically where you can input your address as simple as that it's very straightforward just provide your information right here and then it would be uh, saved right here into your microsoft authenticator and then you can use it anytime with autofill and then you can go for your verified IDs right here so you can have uh, more control of your identity. So as you can see, some websites and organizations now offer verified IDs. So they this uh, feature would make your account setup simpler and safer while giving you more visibility and control over your personal data. So you can also input your IDs right here and don't worry, it will be safe and so that you would have it digital you would have a digital copy of it and it will be very secure 
And you can also tap on a scan QR code. And then from here, you can basically uh, import it by using the QR code feature right here. So that is basically how you do it. And those are basically the main features of the Microsoft Authenticator. You have more right here on this settings right here, but uh, you don't really need this that much. You have the uplock, the usage data, autofills right here, verified IDs, and so on. So yeah, that is uh, basically it on how you can use Microsoft Authenticator app full tutorial so I hope I have helped you in this guide on how you can use this app for yourself and uh, what we have discussed here is basically everything you would need to know in order for you to use this app effectively so I hope this video helped you out thank you for watching